everyone thank you so much for joining me here today and we're going to paint this yellow bird so here's the thing i painted it on a different watercolor paper this is canson heritage rough watercolor paper and the paper came out of a block and i am not used to painting on this watercolor paper but once in a while i like to challenge myself so to get out of that comfort zone because i am so used to painting on arches i know what to expect i know how to work that paper i know what i can do with it and how much i can do with it at first at the beginning of the video you will see i did some uh, testing on the paper and at first i was trying to come up with that nice yellow and the reference photo is like pretty large like overall you will see big background behind that bird and this is my sketch so you're always welcome to download the sketch uh, try to trace it uh, print it or just to use that as a reference when you are doing your own sketch and so as I said I am painting this bird on a Canson heritage watercolor paper this is a block rough so I used a flat stroke three-quarter size brush this was mainly just to paint the background and the background was painted wet on wet and then we have the liner so whenever I use a liner brush or a rigor brush it's mostly to paint some of the hair so over the feathers and this is a screenshot of my working palette so you always know what colors are placed where on my palette so the first thing I am doing is this quick color test and it's to test the colors although i i'm pretty familiar with the gumbo nova but i don't use it that often so i wanted to place these colors uh, next to each other so cadmium yellow pale then gumbo nova and then we have iso yellow deep now i'm just adding some water so basically it's not like i'm painting a bird or anything i just want some kind of shape just to have an idea what to expect from this paper also what happens if i add more water or less water and how the how the pigments bleed basically and now i'm just going to test some blooms so i'm just going to drop a couple uh just drops of water basically just drops of water and to see what happens and how pretty these blooms are but this is cobalt blue and i'm going to add quinacridone red so i am creating this kind of like a purple but that's not the end of it i'm going to start adding other colors so there is van Dijk brown and in a second i will add neutral tint so this is like a color mixture that i am creating for the background i just added umber so umber is like right next to iso yellow deep so where you have those uh three yellows if i feel like it needs more red then i'll just add cornacone red and then i decided that this color mixture needs a little more of the blue so that's when i started adding a little more of the cobalt blue and the first thing i'm doing is wetting this paper now wetting this paper is very very different comparing to painting wet on wet on arches papers
are interested to take some of my classes, I have voiceover tutorials on Patreon as well. And to check out the list of available tutorials, please go through the index on my website. The link is www.mariamorjane.com slash patreon.html. Then the website address for Patreon is www.patreon.com slash Maria Morjane. I hope to see you there.